everyone. Just wanted to talk to you about a question that we get asked a lot this time of the year, which is, can I go swimming in my luxury watch? So it really depends on what type of luxury watch you've got. And also there's a difference between can I go swimming and should I go swimming in my watch? So very briefly, there are a few different levels of waterproofness for a watch. They start at about 30 meters. So um, any kind of dress watch is probably a 30 meter watch. Does this mean you can swim in it to 30 meters? Actually, no, it doesn't. What it means is if you get caught in the rain in it, or if it gets splashed by water from the sink, you'll be fine. Other than that, it's not gonna be waterproof. Up to 50 meters. Now with a 50 meter watch, you'll find that that will allow you to submerse it in water or maybe take a cold shower in it, not a hot shower. A hot shower makes the watch expand and can be different. So a cold shower or just submersing it in water. Now, you might be surprised to hear that something like an Omega Speedmaster or a Brightening Navitimer, something like that, these are 50 meter watches, so absolutely not to go swimming in. The next level up from that would be a 100 meter watch, something like a Rolex Datejust. Now a 100 meter watch you can swim in, a 100 meter watch you can take a hot shower in and they will be fine. The next normal level up from that is a 200 meter watch. Now a 200 meter watch you can swim in, you can dive in, you can do pretty much whatever you want. If you're going to go to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, then you're going to need a proper dive watch like a Rolex Deep Sea or something along those lines. And, you know, they go to, to thousands of meters. That's a different thing. The question is really, though, should I go swimming in my luxury watch? Take a watch like this. This is the example that we're um, that we're going to use this morning. This is a 2018 Rolex GMT Master, um, what people would generally call the ceramic Pepsi. Okay, so this is a 200 meter watch. You can swim in it, you can um, have a hot shower in it, all of those things, as long as it's been relatively recently serviced because the seals and everything will wear out over time and become less efficient and effective. The other thing about this watch is though, this is an 18,000 pound watch. And I can't think of a much harsher environment for an 18,000 pound watch than somewhere you would go swimming. Take for instance, the swimming pool. Now a swimming pool, you're going to be in there, in your trunks, with this on your wrist, with no protection. It's in water, it's in chlorine, the pool itself is made of ceramic tiles and all of the guardrails and the ladders and everything are made of chromed steel. Fairly high chance that you could do it some damage. If you're swimming in the sea, you've got the water again, you've got the salt, you've got stones, you've got sand, you've got sun cream, all of that stuff. Again, a very, very harsh environment for what is a very valuable watch. So do I ever swim in a luxury watch? No, I leave them in the hotel safe or I leave them at home or whatever. If I really feel the need to have a watch and I'm on the beach, I probably wear a G-Shock. So here's the difference. Can I go swimming? Hopefully, now you know with the different uh, depth ratings what your watch is capable of. Should I go swimming? Different question. Hope that's helpful. I hope you like this video. If you do, please press the like button, press the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, if you agree, you disagree, whatever, just put them down below and I will respond to everyone. Thanks a lot, see you soon.